Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here in the single player survival world. Today we are standing inside of the offices and I've got a few cool things to show you guys straight at the beginning of this, uh, well, this episode. First of all, this month is Halloween month and I've got a little bit of a surprise, look at this. You see that hand? I want to introduce you guys to a Zombie Jancy. <laughs> look at that. How awesome is that? We were messing around in a stream uh, to try and get me a pretty cool looking zombie Halloween skin. I think that looks pretty good. Look at that. Now, obviously, if you guys are watching this way in the future, say what's up. Um, obviously, it's not Halloween, but it's Halloween it's coming up soon, I guess, for us. And I thought I'd get in the spirit of things and have a, a super cool costume for this. Look at that. Even at the back, got like a, a black cape, a bit of a few, uh, few wounds. And I think it looks pretty cool. So what you guys think? I think it's a pretty neat little thing to have done. And I got a lot of help from people in stream and I thought it was really, really awesome. So... Uh, we'll, we'll be keeping that on for a while. The other thing is, I thought I'd, I'd make the mood a little bit spooky with something else I discovered the other day. In a stream as well, might I add. Uh, over here, look at this. How cool does that look? Very, very cool, I think. It's got some fog, got the grey skies. It just looks eerie, and I like it. Uh, first of all, if you guys do want to do this and you guys have my texture pack, um, it pretty much it should work, I guess, if you have Optifine. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can do it. The first thing is, you go to Details. Fog to 0.2, it just means the fog's the closest. And I'm switched, I switched off the sky over there, then I went to quality, switched off the custom sky here, and that's what you land up with. Kind of cool, just spooky looking. Now today what we are gonna do is we're gonna be working on this area actually at the front over there. I've got a pretty cool area to uh, to deal with over here, but I wanna do another thing today. Uh, I've got a little bit of a, oh, I made a bit of a discovery the other day uh, when I pressed L. And then from L, I went over to this over, not, well that, I mean that was a surprise. Uh, where was my surprise? There was another surprise. Oh uh, here, this one. Uh, monsters hunted. I still got five more monsters to hunt and I thought today we'd break up the episodes with a little bit of adventuring because first of all, I've been asked quite a few times, Jancy, can you go adventuring? Of course I can. Let's go adventuring today for the one thing that I get asked for the most and that is a, uh, a little thing that we got to see a guy for. Here we go, our friend should be standing around here somewhere. We've got our... <laughs> Our villager breeder, which is absolutely insane. It's got so many villagers in it. It's not finished. We we did this quite a long time ago. If you guys uh, don't remember this, this was I would have shown it off in an episode. I think I did it on a stream, but a very very long time ago we did this specifically for this guy here, which over time is probably going to land off up off the edge here because as villagers walk past, they just bump him a little and then, bam, fall down. But that is our mending villager. I think that's it. Mending for twenty two emeralds. Not the best of trades, but it's all right. We're looking for another person. Uh, I think yeah, that's a librarian. You guys know what we're looking for. It's a cartographer somewhere around here. I think we might have to go adventuring in here. There's bound to be one. If there's none in here, I will be very disappointed and very surprised as well. I'm going to guess that right. Really? I couldn't get that one there. Really, I couldn't. Um, how about I just do that and see how we go? Okay, that's fine. That'll work. Uh, there. Drop down. Wonderful. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so this has been quite a long time coming. I've got a pretty cool way of doing what we're gonna do. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to paper trade him straight away. This could be the end of our trades for now. We might have to get some other stuff. Please, yes, wonderful, thank you. And it's straight to a compass. All right, so maybe we have a look in case they've got other trades or else it looks like this is ending quickly and I'm gonna have to go searching for stuff. Turns out paper's a lot harder to come by than what I thought, but that's all right. I've just noticed I've got three crafting ta tables and here's a fourth, just for good measure. I brought that just in case we needed it. And I just realized that what we actually need to do is we actually need to make a compass. And I don't know why the recipe is not showing up over Ah, you know, it's not showing up there. That's silly me. I, I knew that. That's what... <laughs> it's because there were still redstone blocks. Now it should show up. Yep, yeah, perfect. All right, let's just do... Okay, they can stack. Wonderful. I actually didn't realize compasses could stack. So we'll do that there. And the reason we need the compass and not more paper... Um, I, I was, don't know why I wasn't thinking, but paper is actually... Not too useful for us because it's not going to open up the next few trades. And I'm doing this again. Uh, there we go. Magic, we made it in. Librarian, cartographer, thank you very much, buddy. Let's uh, let's get a, a bit of a trade going on here. Refresh, please. Thank you. Next one, next one. Empty map? Is that just an empty map? Okay. We'll take that. Refresh again, please. Wonderful. That was unlucky, I guess. Let's do it again. And by the way, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a map to a woodland mansion, which these guys should have. I'll let these all wear off there. Okay, let's just go to the end again. Put that in there. There we go. And the reason we want a map to the woodland mansion is, of course, that's that's probably going to be the closest. I actually wonder what will happen. I'd, 
I wonder if it generates with whatever is the closest one to the villager, which at the current point in time should be in the end. So I don't know where its position would be if, if that is the case. Okay, that's very unlucky. Maybe this guy's just, that's his final trade. How about we go up one level and see what we get here. Uh, we'll do that there, that there. And if not, I know a village where I'm pretty sure there is a cartographer. All right, so I had a bit of a hunch. Uh, about the guys in the end. Remember I was asking, I said, I wonder what happens with how they calculated. And I'm going to guess that, uh, oh, that guy actually had a better trade than the last guy. Where's my last guy gone? I found another one in this village here. But what I'm going to guess is that in the end, cartographers can't generate a proper map. So we've unlocked an ocean explorer map. We've also unlocked a woodland explorer map. Uh, we just need to grab that out there and of course make ourselves yet another, another crafting table. But at least this time we know we do have a woodland mansion on that map. Now, whether or not it's a bugged out one, uh, let's hope not. But, uh, okay, I'll give it a try. There, there, and now we should, oh, we still can't. <laughs> There's so many things I've got to make. Okay, go here again, there again, there again, one, and we should be able to get ourselves one of these. Now, I've also gone and done a bunch that was woodland. Oh, good. I thought we were, <laughs> I thought for a second that we had the wrong one, but that's fine. Okay, and I think we can make these larger maps, but I don't have enough. That's all right. We'll, we'll start finding this one. This is to the, does that means we have to go that, oh, we, that means we have to go that way. All right. So we have to go down Southwest because if we are around here, so if we are around there, we've got to travel this direction to find it. It's quite a far way to travel. And I'm pretty sure that is ocean. And I'm not so sure what that is, but let's hope it's not too far away. I'm just going to pack this stuff up and I'll quickly explain to you along the way what my plan is to keep the world file size down because that's a very important thing. So we have the custom skies turned on and we are on our way there. Now it looks like we might actually not be too unlucky with this. Uh, there's where the village was right over there. And this is where we are going right here. And you can already see this. We're in the right direction. So it looks like we're just going to have to keep traveling south towards the glorious cloud horse. Uh, but you can see this is a very small icon and it starts getting larger as we get there. So we might actually not have a very far way to travel, in which case we are extremely lucky. Because as far as I'm aware, these things are normally thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of blocks away. And if this one isn't the, that far away, we're actually very, very good. So what we were going to do to save the world file is basically by finding the Woodland Mansion, we would make the world file a significant amount bigger. And I have saved a backup of this world just then, so just after this bit here, oh, llamas. Okay, we actually haven't got llamas yet. Uh, but just after this this bit here, once we find the Willow Mansion, what I'm gonna do is we are gonna go back and use whatever we've used. For instance, we say we've only got 45 of these rockets left. We're gonna go into the world for save file. We're gonna drop that file, which is the old one, down to 45 rockets and basically make ourselves whatever we are at this stage over here. And there's a woodland, but no mansion, I guarantee in this one. Uh, how far have we gone already? Okay, 2,500 blocks. Yeah, this is probably a few tens of thousands of blocks. Uh, but the idea is that the the further we go, uh, the bigger the wolf file size is going to be, and of course that's not too desirable. So what we'll do is we'll go through the nether, which means that every block we travel is worth eight blocks in the nether, in the overworld, of course. So if we can do this whole trip in the nether, that means that we can save the world file size by a ridiculous amount, and we can just throw out whatever we've used. So it makes it pretty fair in my opinion. And I think it's a pretty good compromise for doing what we do. We're still going to find it. We're not using a, a cheaty way of finding it. It's just, of course, it's a, it's a very smart way of doing it. And it saves, saves you guys downloading it in the future. So I guess that's all I really wanted to say. It's kind of a long-winded answer, but it's a very simple thing. There we go. Okay, this should take us pretty much to where we want to be. So we'll do this. And if my calculations are correct, I haven't missed out any negative numbers or whatever. This should take us right to the Woodland Mansion. And pretty much today, we don't have too much stuff we want to go here. We just want to explore it, check what's going on, kill some mobs and get that achievement. Because these are the only mobs that I can think of that we have not yet got. And of course, it's going to take a while to load in. The Cloud Horse is there. Is this the tree that we marked? Almost pretty close to it. I think that was the one we marked. That was very lucky. Uh, lag. Okay, I'm getting some pretty solid lag because obviously it's just loading everything in here right now. Look at that. I feel like I'm playing on a server right now. It's crazy. All right, so how about we go around to the front, which is the front right here. Okay, that's cool. And I think I've got dynamic lights turned on. Do 
Do I? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's walk around here. That skeleton's moving extremely fast. Well, compared to what I was expecting. All right. How about I, I regroup outside here? We'll get the... Yeah, we'll get our stuff out here. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be all right. I don't think there's too many troubles. We'll take that, take that, take that. Just for a little bit of a change. Uh, I might just grab those so we are safe. Don't need a shovel. Um, take the night vision. Just so we can see things a bit better. Don't know what to get rid of. Because I kind of want... I really do want that, that unbroken, no, the, uh, diamond pick, the diamond axe to be on our hopper. You know what? I'll actually use you, my friend, for this achievement. Now it's not... What? Is it not interested? Thank you. It's very useful of you, Skeleton. Okay, there we go. Good, so we got one achievement, which is kind of good. I think this is going to be the most achievements we're going to get for a long time. In fact, I don't think there are many, many more. And I kind of feel like these things are a little bit kind of underwhelming, to be honest. That's why I don't really find it too exciting to... Oh, what? What a hit! That is crazy. Okay, uh, how about we run away and eat some food? That is crazy. Oh, this guy's still here. Um, this could actually be quite bad. I am not going to lie. This could be a very bad thing. We got punch on this thing, so... How about we just eat before anything bad goes wrong? I actually forgot how strong these guys are. They are ridiculously powerful, which is good. I like a little bit of a challenge in the mobs. I feel like we got really boring mobs in general, so that is really cool. Okay, come back here, buddy. Now we're just going to be hitting you with a really weak bow. I don't think they got a lot of health, if I remember. yet. Yeah. drops an emerald. Cool. All right. There we go. Let's, let's just do one little bit of exploring. I want to get that. Let's have a look at that. What? How many do we have? We had... 18, we had 17, so that's one. I don't know if the little things, the Vex, I think that are spawned by Illagers, do they count as a mob of their own? I don't know. I'm not so sure. That's kind of cool that there's a... Uh... Would that not set stuff on fire? I think it's just out of the way. All right, let's keep going. Let's find something else. This is new. I've never seen this before. Ooh. Never seen one of these before. I didn't actually know that there were hidden, hidden pathways like this in it. Now, this has just got a little bit cool. I did say that I don't really find these too exciting, but that is actually pretty exciting. All right, guys, here we are. We've got some Vex spawning in here, which means we just saw an Illager over there. And I'm not too sure. Let's just check how many kills we got here. Currently 18. Let's check if we can get this, if that counts as 19 over there. There's one there. Uh, there's a Skeleton. That's a Vex. Please, can we shoot you? Thank you. And another one. That there. Does that count as a mob of its own? It doesn't. Okay, interesting. Interesting. All right. That guy is the guy we need to kill there. That should count as number 19. When we get it. Uh, if we can get it. Can we just... It's pretty much... It's not moving around at all. And for some reason... We still couldn't hit it. Let's just... Do that. That's just, that's just testament to how derpy we are at fighting with these things. And of course, this isn't the best of bows. But it's all right. It'll do the trick. Let's go. Kill that guy. We should have... Really? Okay, that is kind of surprising. Oh, I think this is probably the guy we need. Just kill this guy. Now, let's look at that. There we go. Okay, turns out I think the other guy was actually just an Illager. Just a normal bad guy. Let's just go through here. We've got those guys covered. All right, so I think we've only got one level of this place to look at. And to be completely honest, guys, I don't know if things have changed since the last time I was in here. But they've got some really neat little paths and places to go and explore in it. And my my uh, overall assessment of this is I'm still not the biggest fan of these structures. But you know what? I, uh, I can live with them in the game. I just wish they were a little bit closer. Just a tad bit closer because we end up having to go so far. I mean, 6,000 blocks uh, just to travel to find a structure. I mean, that's not actually too bad, but that's lucky. That's very lucky. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's a little bit of something different, I guess, for us. We don't often do these weird uh adventure episodes but it's good to do them every once in a while and i'll be completely honest with you i actually did absolutely enjoy uh doing something a little bit different from what we've been doing and going and exploring that woodland mansion uh by the way i didn't actually explain it i realize now when i watch back the clip basically what i did before is that one where we sped it all up in the uh going towards the woodland mansion that one there i copied this world over went there went back into the original save file 
then went through the nether. That's how it all worked, just in case I wasn't clear enough. But that's all right, that's enough of that. Let's get started on the next build that we are gonna be doing. Cause I said we're gonna be doing some building today and you can see I've done a little bit of stuff. I've done this level and this level. I've been working out how we are gonna do the pathways and I'm actually thinking I'm probably gonna add in a bit more cobble to this to make it a bit, bit better. And you may have just noticed that. This is a little bit of a problem with this path. <laughs> is we can fall into it, but it looks so damn good. Look at that, the concrete powder, just all that stuff. We, we're obviously gonna be doing a lot of different things, but I really like the concrete powder here and there, maybe a bit less of the darker one. We'll see how it goes. It's all a matter of trial and error. And then of course, on this level here, we've got the, the normal level. And the reason we've used the concrete powder here is the simple reason, of course. This is a half slab level and half slab levels don't do well for full blocks because they're a half slab. And a little trick you can do is, let me actually grab these out over here. And you can do this. You can dig down two blocks, maybe another block there, and put in a fence or a cobblestone wall like that. And when a block, for instance, like sand or concrete powder falls on it, it's going to get stuck as an entity. So I'll show you against this wall very quickly. Let's do this here, one of those, and we'll put one of those on. It gets stuck over there. You can see, you can actually walk, well, right through it. It's, it's not a real block. It's a fake block. It's an entity. It's kind of just the game pretending like the blocks there, but it's really not. So that's what we've done here just to make this fake half slab, I guess, over there. And I think it's going to work really, really well. But right now, what I want to do is I want to keep going on with this episode. This is all for testing. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. We're going to be alternating these, these ones here and these here. I think what we have to do is a bit more work over here. This seems a bit too similar to that, but that's all right. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. What I want to do today is I want to add one of the first things to this place. Like we've got buildings. Now we need a thing. We just need something weird to put in here. And that is going to be our very first cart. So the, the very first horse drawn carriage, I guess, or cart would be the, the real word for it. And I want to do this here. This is something we've used before. And every time I use this sort of design, people come back and tell me that I should probably use another way of doing it. Or for instance, well, the wheels being the problem is apparently the wheels are a bit odd. And I do understand that. That's why I've actually gone for this very strange way of doing these wheels. And the whole reason I've done this strange way is because wheels are so difficult in Minecraft. If you've ever tried to do one, you'll, you'll realize what I'm talking about. They just... The circles just don't work as well as they could. And of course it is a game about blocks, so no surprise there. But overall, uh, if I wanted to do a wheel with an extra little bit, like I normally get suggested, for instance, putting a, a full block here and then some stairs in on the corners, that just becomes extremely large, like ridiculously large. And I do realize now that I've actually done this incorrectly. I would need to push this one another one, two out there. Uh, then that should be in the middle. So what, I, what I've decided to do is I've decided to go with the normal stairs that, well, not stairs, sorry, the normal wheels that I go for here like this, which is as close as I can see to a circle in this game. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and build this cart up very, very quickly. It looks like the sun's about to go down. So I'll be right back. Right, the sun's come back up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly finish this off very, very fast here. This is actually something I did come up with in a creative world before this, because it is quite a difficult thing to do. And I was actually just messing around with a few really, really neat ideas, which I think we might be doing a, a video on very shortly, I would hope, uh, because there's a lot of cool stuff that I've come up with. And I think you guys might benefit from it if I can maybe put out a, a tutorial video or something like that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I've actually just read the comments from my last video and that was requesting a tutorial and some other stuff. And I, I think that'll be a great idea. Just start getting back into doing some tutorials. It seems like they helped a lot of people. So if that is the case, let me know if you guys, uh, if you guys do want to see that. Now, this is a little bit more interesting, I guess. How did I do this? I've done this the wrong level. That's why. Okay. We'll get rid of these again and then we'll put these over here. So this over here has to go down like that. There. Perfect. And then over here, can I place these? I can. Wonderful. Okay. The defense gates are always so odd to place. There we go. And that is the closest we are going to get to a cart, <laughs> horse-drawn cart in Minecraft, in my opinion, as close as we're going to get for this sort of shape. And it does look a little bit wide right now. I don't know why. I might need to just check out what I've done in my creative world to make it look a little bit more interesting. I feel like it looks a little bit odd, but it could also work once we start putting stuff over here. And for this, by the way, I've brought some friends from over here. We've got this guy and... Uh, I think someone's escaped. Okay, we had two. <laughs> All right, we should find one. It couldn't have got too far. 
But this is going to be sort of a little bit annoying because what's going to happen is as soon as we chain these guys up to a fence post or something, even underground, they're going to eventually end up walking away because sadly leads don't work in this game. I don't think ever. <laughs> and it's just a little bit crazy to try to use these things, keep these things in one spot without a lead. Uh, so this is our best option, despite the fact that it's probably not going to do anything for us. So we'll put one of those in. Let's connect it up there. Bam. If that guy can stand there, they'll be great. And when we get the other guy, we'll put it in over there. So that's what that's looking like right now. And I'm pretty happy with just the front area over here. That's pretty much what I wanted to get done today. I've got one other thing which I want to add in here. And we'll probably add that into the area in the next episode. So right now, I just want to do one or two quick finishing touches to this place. And then we'll continue on. And I've just spotted our friend over there. I'm going to go grab him as well. And there you have it, guys. That is the final little area for today. I didn't want to go too much more because, of course, we did do a little bit of adventuring in this episode and a bit of explore of building in this episode. So I'm pretty happy that we got the two things done. One quick question is if anyone knows a good way of keeping these guys in this spot without leads, please let me know. Like, just like that. Something that we can't see, preferably, because I've tried pushing in piston, like, piston pushing in some fences into them. They still tend to walk. So that's, that's one little struggle we're going to have, but it's not a big deal. Besides that, I've just added some bushes and a few little rocks and stuff to try and make this area work. But of course, just picture the bigger picture. This is eventually going to be a proper road with all different roads going in all different directions. But the next episode, I've got a pretty cool little design for a lamppost that I want to put here. And we don't actually have enough time for today. And also, we're going to get started on another area over there, which is, I think, going to be one of the cooler builds that we're going to do. So thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.